A stunning report has just been released by UNFPA, the United Nations Fund for Population Activities, which, which documents the progress, non-progress of women over the last 20 years since the International Conference on Population and Development. It was held in Cairo in 1994. I was there. It was euphoric. Most of the women hoped that issues like family planning would somehow be subsumed in the grand rubric of gender equality. And as the report points out, there's been some considerable progress. Over a billion people have come out of poverty, mind you, mostly in China. And we have huge additional numbers of midwives and birth attendants and a reduction in maternal mortality rates, although 800 women still die in childbirth every day, and a significant reduction in fertility rates as well. So the progress is tangible, but there seem to be such insuperable conditions in the, in the wings. Uh, for example, a billion people still live in the 50 or 60 poorest countries of the world, mostly women, and they will be doomed to lives of perpetual impoverishment because of the increasingly entrenched inequality in the world. One out of every three women continue to report physical or sexual assault, usually by an intimate partner. We have fully 50% of the countries in the world that never report marital rape, but we have over 100 million young women under the age of 18 who will be married by the year 2020. This is an abomination in terms of the pattern of child marriage. Over 200 million women have no access to family planning or contraception. We have 9 million unsafe abortions. We have over 100 million women living with female genital mutilation and 3 million more every year. God knows how many millions of women are trafficked into sexual slavery. These millions upon millions feel like some kind of maddening crescendo of oppression. And above all, not a single country on the planet has either economic or political equality between men and women. Not one. And it never ends. It continues to proliferate. Just take a look at the peace talk, so-called on Syria. Not a single woman at the peace table. Despite the destruction of women in Syria, not one at the peace table. Despite all of the promises of the Security Council and of resolutions at the Security Council and the promises of Western leaders and the promises of the ostensible negotiators, not a single woman at the peace talks. It's unbelievable. One ray of hope. Today, February 14th, is the day of one billion rising when the NGO V-Day, orchestrated by Eve Ensler, the woman who wrote the Vagina Monologues, is attempting to get women to rise everywhere, to dance, to declaim, to pontificate, to confound, to get the world to understand the importance of ending sexual violence. But by God, it seems a stupefying struggle to achieve equality. That was last week. Oh, before I end, let me wish you something less than love in honor of this commercial rubbish called Valentine's Day. I'm Stephen Lewis.